She was running a, a giveaway. A Ponzi scheme. It is not that serious for a damn five dollars. Girl, you doing this because you need money. I'm sure you're on here right now. It's gonna be a problem because I do not mess with people messing with my family. You're not gonna bully my sister. Bro, the dude you trying to talk to because I talk to them. You're so small. If I get my hands on you, it's, it's a dub for you. It's over with. You're going to the hospital. Why are you so obsessed with me, bitch? I'll literally kill you. Sky Jackson has quite a few enemies in Hollywood. For whatever reason, she can't seem to keep herself out of controversy. Whether she's fighting a fellow celebrity over a man or allegedly scamming her own fans, she and her mother are up to no good. So let's get into it. <laughs> Sky Jackson has been in the entertainment industry for a long time, and throughout her career, she has established a reputation of her own, but not a really good one. And there have been accusations of her bullying people, her scamming her fans, and she's had plenty of celebrity feuds. Let's start off by talking about this clearly illegal giveaway, this like contest that she was running for her fans. Whenever you throw a sweepstakes, you need to have it approved by, I believe, like the FTC or someone because you can get in trouble if it's like a, a lottery scheme and it's not authentic and that's kind of what people were calling her out for because she was asking her fans to send in five dollars in order to enter a raffle she claims that no she doesn't need the money she's just having her fans send her a bunch of money so that she could buy a macbook and then give it to one of those people which the whole transaction just sounds weird she said if anything's left over if there's any leftover money she'll do a second giveaway soon this person wrote sky jackson is on TikTok Live telling children to send her $5 cash app for a chance to win a MacBook. She claims that she doesn't need the money, so then why is she charging for entry? This is not weird to you guys? Another person wrote, she should do the raffle for free if she claims that she doesn't need the money. I don't think that any celebrity is entitled to give their fans really anything, but if they're going to, it's nice. It's just kind of weird when you see that you have to pay in order to possibly win this and you're not getting anything out of it. I mean, you're just sending her $5 on Cash App. It doesn't sound authentic or genuine and hearing her speak about it doesn't make it any better. It is not that serious for a damn $5. It is called a raffle. I don't know if you guys have been to school before, but I know I've been to school and we used to have raffles all the time where a ticket might, but it's a physical ticket. You might get Five, put in five dollars two dollars whatever and you get a prize like people do raffles all the time yes the money goes towards the prize and then like i said if there's anything left over i'm doing a second giveaway um soon so that's what it's going towards i do not need money me personally i do not need money and i'm not saying this like i'm in a bragging way or anything like that or in a mean way i'm just letting you guys know i do not personally need money like i am very fine in my life i don't need um i don't need money it does seem like Sky did go and buy this MacBook. I feel like she had to because of all the backlash. So she did buy the person the MacBook. We don't know how much money she ended up raising, but a lot of people called out the fact that usually when people do this, they pay for the prize and the money just goes to a charity. So it just left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. This person wrote on Twitter, the Disney money has ran out. Someone else wrote, give her an acting gig. Another tweet, she was on Disney for nine years just to be asking TikTok kids for money. Sky Jackson is the main one telling people I'm booked and busy, but is begging people to do $5 raffles to win a MacBook. Guess that Disney check finally ran out. Sky Jackson is hilarious, bro. She was running a, a giveaway. A Ponzi scheme. <laughs> It is not that serious for a damn $5. She was ready to get a giveaway. Yeah, 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 week, week. Yeah, yeah. Where her supporters have to send her $5 and they can win a MacBook. You gain more than anybody else yeah. in this thing. They were commenting saying that, girl, you doing this because you need money. And then her response on it, this is a clip that went viral. Her response on it was, how do I need money? I, it's a raffle. Y'all ain't never done a raffle in school before. I'm not going to lie. This would have been a good idea that I would have had. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have executed it. <laughs> like, I would have told you to be like, like that would have been funny, bro. That would have been funny if somebody did this. Yeah. I would never do it. That's crazy. So it's just weird. It's also weird how she continues to fight with other celebrities and random influencers like Bad Baby. Bad Baby was known for her appearance on Dr. Phil and then she made a rap career out of her fame. And then she has also been outspoken when it comes to teen camps that are in the wilderness where people are sent off and they're like essentially a 
So Bad Baby has had a pretty big career. The feud allegedly started when Sky made a comment on her second private Instagram account saying that she wanted someone to hook her up with rapper NBA Youngboy, who Danielle had previously dated. Bad Baby is also, her name is Danielle. Danielle wasn't pleased and she posted and deleted an Instagram post where she explained why she was annoyed. She said that Sky previously commented on the fact that Danielle got a tattoo of Youngboy's name on her face and now she's complimenting his looks. Danielle was apparently upset because Sky has done this before. Quote, she literally does this with every dude I talk to. Their feud over Instagram escalated and Bad Baby was not backing down. At one point, she threatened Sky, saying that she needs to stop going to the nail salon that she goes to. Quote, don't ever come to Glam House, B word. You want to be me so bad, you get your nails done by the people I get my nails done with? Don't ever come here. I ain't tripping because I'm going to see her. I'm going to see her at the perfect time and I'm going to dog her. And none of her friends go help her because they all innocent as and they don't want no, no pressure with me at all. I don't even know why she thinks she want pressure with me. You know how I am. You used to hang around me. You know how the how I am. You know I really get on. You know I don't play. So why? Why? Why are you so obsessed with me? I'll literally you. Like, I don't know why you're not understanding that. You're so small. If I get my hands on you, it's, it's a dub for you. It's over with. You're going to the hospital. Like I'm saying, you better rack up all your checks right now. Get all, get all the money you can. Get all the shows you can. All the commercials. All that shit. Because when I get a hold of you, you ain't finna be doing none of that shit no more. I would not want to fight with Bad Baby, but Sky Jackson has this image of this child star, this Disney person who is, you know, innocent. And a lot of times people, you know, side with her opposed to Bad Baby because look at how Bad Baby speaks. But I don't know how Sky is in her personal life. She seems a little bit shady because I don't think that like Bad Baby really has any reason to lie. And she goes back onto her social media and she calls her out again. Supposedly Sky has tried to talk to multiple guys that Bad Bad Baby has dated, including Young Boy and another rapper named Lil Got It. Like, come on, man. Like, these dudes, the thing is, bro, the dudes you trying to talk to, because I talk to them, they, they not your type. You don't talk to dudes like that. So stop. No. Stop that shit, because that shit's weird. Yeah, you don't man, understand that shit. Oh. How the fuck you want to be me so you? bad, but you don't like that? I told so clearly, Bad Baby is upset, and these are two young women, so of course, their mothers step in. This is where it gets weird, because Danielle's mom, Barbara, started sharing screenshots of her exchanges with Kaya, who's Sky's mom. Things got very heated very quickly. A lot of these screenshots are wiped from the internet, but supposedly it got very out of control. I guess Sky's mother ended up backing down and she wrote that she had to reel herself back in and not lose track of all the great work that they've been doing these past few months. And maybe Kaya wanted to step back because she went and hired a lawyer because Sky then got a restraining order against Bad Baby. So the restraining order was approved by a judge. It ordered Bad Baby to stay 100 yards away from Sky and her home and her workplace. In court documents, Sky said that she's fearful to leave her house by herself, hadn't slept well since the threats were made, and feels like Danielle, Bad Baby, is mentally unstable. She included a bunch of screenshots of messages as well, so it seems like they've had a feud for quite some time. I guess Bad Baby then decided to go on to Kaya, Sky's mother's Instagram, because I guess she can go and contact her and she said that you should get a hold of that finsta she has sky's mom wrote don't come on my damn page with your trashy negativity take this crap somewhere else and leave my damn daughter alone Another bizarre scandal that Sky found herself in involved Jordan Woods' sister. Supposedly, there had been allegations that Sky Jackson was bullying Jody Woods. Just to give you guys a disclaimer, these allegations are supposedly fake because the person who created them, I guess, asked for like $3,000 in exchange to remove a video, which I think is so like in such bad taste. Also, they created this entire rumor, like that's pretty hard to do. And at one point, everyone believed it because even Jordan Woods posted a video directed at Sky Jackson telling her not to mess with her family. Letting it slide, letting it slide, letting it slide. And I'm sure okay. you're on here right now. Okay. Do and it's not, not going to slide for too long. I told you. So keep it up. <laughs> and it's going to be a problem because I do not mess with people messing with my family. Okay, Especially when you're way older than her. You're not gonna bully my sister. You're not gonna say shit about Period her. Break. So Jordan Woods was convinced that Sky was doing this. But again, this TikToker named Mia J 
allegedly asked for money to get the video removed and I, I guess they tried to say that the the text messages the dms that were included from sky jackson they were all edited and fake though mia has made other statements that contradict this and she says that they are all true so we really don't know who to believe so jordan just called someone out on a live and according to twitter that person is sky jackson for allegedly bullying jody her younger sister who is now supposedly dating jules solange's son beyonce's nephew who used to have a thing going on with sky before and now sky's trending it all started after mia j posted two tiktoks allegedly exposing sky's shady behavior towards jody all linked to a finster account that's allegedly sky's finster on the left with some context the other screenshots from the tiktok allegedly exposing sky's alleged shady behavior sky began trending she tweeted this and then posted this to her story saying her and jody have spoken and are confused by this fake drama and tweets about the girl who made the original tiktoks asking sky for three thousand dollars to take her original videos down but the tiktoker defended herself saying she only asked for money because sky asked how much for this reason and posting more tiktoks with receipts saying she's not lying while we're on the topic of Beyonce's nephew, let's talk about that because there was some weird press surrounding their relationship. Keep in mind, like he's like 16 and she's 18 at this time. He goes by Jules and he is the son of Solange Knowles and he revealed that he and Sky had an intimate relationship. He said, I effed her good and got her addicted and then left her. It's complicated. Oh God, how charming. But he also revealed that supposedly Sky had cheated on him during their relationship. I mean, keep in mind, he's 16, she's 18, they're really young. And even though he is out here talking to the press, supposedly these two do still hang out and have been seen together time and time again. This report claims that Jules being the son of singer Solange and nephew to Beyonce have people shook that he could speak this way about a black woman. Supposedly at this point, some intimate media was released between these two and someone wrote, Sky Jackson and Beyonce's nephew Jules did what? And he got leaked? OMG Solange is going to whoop his ass. Another person wrote, Solange Knowles' son deserves an ass whooping for leaking that private moment between him and Sky Jackson. I hope she sues that little rodent. Someone that I know that knows Jules said that they have this secret group chat um, where he's in there. But anyway, let's get into it. So they were dating and apparently Sky cheated, allegedly. So to get back at her, he posted this. So someone in a group chat named Gary said, um, why is she talking about throw Lieberman away if she's the one that cheated? And he said, because I made sure to ruin her life. Then someone asked, did y'all have sex? And he said, yeah. Sky Jackson tends to ignore things when it comes to these type of moments, but she couldn't ignore this because this was a video of his like hand touching her and you could really see what was going on. She simply stated, God will get you through anything. This wasn't great news for the Knowles family. They actually all turned their comments off and they're getting a ton of backlash because people were, you know, mad at Jules for posting this of Sky. I would be too. Another person who tends to fight with others in the entertainment industry is Azalea Banks. And she and Sky Jackson got into it because she accuses Sky's mother of over-sexualizing her daughter. Keep in mind that Sky is actually like 14 years old when this went down. And Azalea told Sky that she needed a boob job and a butt lift and accused her mother of pimping out her daughter to Disney. Sky replied back saying Azalea Banks needs to simmer down a little. And of course that set Azalea over the edge. Among the many offensive comments included a prediction that she, Sky, would end up washed up like a child star, depressed and addicted to drugs. Sky tweeted at Azalea telling her to simmer down a little bit, but then Azalea fired back by saying, quote, you need to grow some hips and start your menses. Stay in a child's place. After that tweet, the exchange went on for hours. Sky replied, when a no-hip-having 14-year-old has more class than you, worry about your career, get one, with a peace emoji. Then Azealia took shots at Sky's mom, saying, quote, pimping her out to Disney, tweeting for her. Then she alleged that her mom forced her to work with Disney because she failed in life. Yikes, this is a bad conversation all around. She also said some pretty nasty things about Sky's mom and how she will land Sky her next role, but I'm definitely not going to get into that right now. But Azealia didn't stop there. She took jabs at Sky's acting career, saying she's never heard of her before, telling her to get plastic surgery and saying things like, quote, you're just another little black girl who's going to be kicked off the Disney conveyor belt. Plus, she even told Sky she would end up depressed and addicted to drugs. But Sky was quick to defend herself from all of these hurtful words. She fired back by saying she had a career before Disney and she's sure she will after. Then, calling Azealia bitter and miserable, Sky said Azealia 
ideas giving black women a bad name. But before things ended, Sky tweeted, quote, you got dissed by a One Directioner, how miserable can your life be? Now have several seats, Azealia Stanks, and she even tweeted out, quote, go fix your edges before you come at me. Hashtag buy now, hide behind your weave smut. It's pretty insane when you think that Sky is only 14 years old and they are going back and forth on Twitter like this. Azealia defends herself by saying that she was actually tweeting with Sky's mother that, you know, her mother was writing the tweet. So um, I don't really think that's much of an excuse. I think like fighting any like teenager or minor on the internet, just like automatically you're in the wrong. Now, Azalea was disgusting for saying those things about Sky, but going into the future, there have been some weird blind items about Sky Jackson. And for <laughs> one, for example, uh, they claim that she actually did get her like boobs done which i just like why are you even talking about this but it's weird because i guess a full circle this former disney actress who has been yachting for years even though she can barely drink recently got new chest implants because she thinks it will help her earn more money one of her quote-unquote boyfriends paid for them and again this is allegedly sky jackson and here is a related blind item from March of 2020. I think it's great this underage Disney actress is exposing men who hit on her, but she has only dated people that are in their 20s, and I think one guy was either right at 30 or close to it. Oh, and there was the one guy she was hooking up with who already had children that she wanted to keep secret because she didn't want to get him in trouble. And here's another related blind item from July of 2021. It was not all that long ago that I revealed this former Disney actress extorted married men who sleep with her and how she charged more when she was underage. Now she is looking for an enforcer to carry out the debt collections. And the related wire image reads, Sky Jackson attends the Variety Power of Young Hollywood at New House Los Angeles on August 10th in Hollywood, California. So Sky Jackson has been out here and so has her mother and they have had plenty of little controversies. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Let's go ahead and open this PO Box package item from Wonky Cat Comics. We've got some stickers here, some cat pop. It's cute. Okay. Dear son, I hope this package finds you well. I love your work and thankful that you discuss these topics, no matter how uncomfortable they are. Here in this package is a wonky cat coloring book and stickers for you or someone you love. Times are hard and we all need something fun to relax and decompress. Wonky Cat is a pink cat who stands for the belief that it's okay to be imperfect cat or human. Wonky Cat is also part of a web comic with his friends. Enjoy. Oh, so it's at Webby or Wonky Cat Comics. And look, oh, that's sweet. I like the premise of it too. Some pictures. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know who by I guess it's by Wonky Cat Comics. So thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.